All right, here we are with, uh, we finished that last video and got our margins set up in our green color here. I would like to work better on this green color to see if I can match one of these darker light greens, but we'll do that in a little bit. Or maybe not at all. It's just something I would like to do as a designer. I see that it's inconsistent there. So let's uh, take a peek at step six. And what I can see here is that we need to add this little swirl thing, which is right there. And I can tell it's with every paragraph. So that tells me right away my style is going to begin with the P tag. And it looks to me like I'm going to have to do some padding because I want to be inside my box, right? We looked at that last at the margins already there all the way around. So I want to do some padding. And if I check out what the width is and the height is of this, I'll have a better idea of how much padding to give. I can see it's going to be about half of the width, maybe a little more, and a little less than the height. So let's look at that. That's right here. So I can see here that the width is 23 and the height is 48. So let's try something like padding left 15, padding top 20. Let's try that. So I'll come over to my styles. I don't need that open anymore. And I know I'm going to do the P tag. And let's get the uh, URL in there. Background image. And we'll start typing URL so we can get that code set up. And remember, dot, dot, slash. Because we're trying to get out of the CSS folder and into the images folder. And we're going to choose swirl.gif. And I'm quite certain we need to add a, let's get out of the parens here and type no repeat, because we do not want it to repeat. Oh, since I'm adding more than one value here, I need to not use the image. And let me finish repeat, no repeat, and I do want it to be top left, which is the default, so I'll leave that there. And then I'll do the padding top. What did I say, 20? And I'll do the padding left. And I think I said 15 here. Save and refresh. There it is. That padding top might be a little bit more than what we see here. A little more. So let's just make the padding top a tad less. Padding top. Let's make that 15 also. Save. Refresh. Beautiful. So let's uh, go back to the index and do a very quick select all, copy, come over to the validator. You always want to validate your code, always, always. Paste and check. And no errors or warnings to show. Yay! That's the T story.